Well, all good things must come to an end, and this vlog wraps up the last of our Cook Island series. But we're going out with a bang. Are we crazy for getting up stupid early to climb a mountain in pure darkness to watch the sunrise? Woohoo! Now you can actually look as well. I made it! Maybe. There's also tropical treats and coconuts calling us to the Punanganui markets before a treat yourself moment at the finest dining on the island, a Mediterranean inspired restaurant for our last night. since we set an alarm that started at 4 a.m. It had a four in front of it. We've done fives, we've done sixes a lot. Fours, unless we're catching a flight, never. And that hasn't really been a thing the last few years, but I get the feeling, all the places, this is gonna be worth it. No one's really awake, except for the roosters, the stars, and us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying foxes. Really? And it's cool, when we get to the top, they're all kind of coming back from where they've been all night and then they'll, they'll fly past where, we've, where we'll be standing. So they're kind of like at eye level. Yeah. We've got our headlamps. We've met our guide Luther. We've jumped the private property sign. <laughs> With permission, of course. And we're heading uphill now. He said it should take about half an hour to get to the top. Oh yeah, it's a little bit slippery. I doubt you can see much, but we've got a rope here that we're pulling ourselves up the side just to help. Yeah. yeah, so that's one rope down. Oh, and then they're just a tie onto the tree. So you can just get through a bit easier. It hasn't been raining in a few days. So we're lucky here. How you going, babe? Nothing. You got this. Woohoo! Now you can actually look as well. I made it! All good, Luther? All right. Have a look. That's crazy colours. It's so pretty. It's so nice. the ropes would go <laughs> you did well but um because you've got the the headlamp you just kind of look down watch where your feet are going and the reward at the top is so worth it so worth it i mean getting up early look that's what you have to commit to to see a sunrise right i think and we got pretty lucky as well because we weren't sure if there'd be any clouds and how good the color would be but we actually got like all the rays that came out we even like saw a bat this is swinging around, so that's... Loves I've, Batman. Like, <laughs> I have to admit, I do love a bit of Batman. <laughs> now, fully worth it. I love this little getaway. And then getting up here now and seeing out, and you can see over the other side of the island. Yeah. Awesome. So we might be doing a little cross-island hike as well, but we don't know how the weather's going to be for that yeah, one. Yeah, we'll see. It's cool, though, because like we spent so much time out in the lagoon and on the water, so it's nice to actually be up in the mountains Definitely. now. All right. Time to go down. Now that it's light, you get a better view of what we were climbing up in the darkness there and all that dark footage. This is what it is. So it's just the tree roots and stuff. It's nothing really too tricky. And then uh, we've got the old backwards technique going down on the way, on the way back. Even if you don't get a good sunrise though, the views, fully worth it. they're all in the sheds. Yeah, add some character, eh? It does. I wonder if it's all like that or if there's more down the end. Yeah, I'm not sure. There must be some fresh oh. stuff somewhere soon. Yeah, I love all the colour like this. Pancakes, it's a shame that's not open. Baby pancakes. Baby pancakes, yeah. 
Looks like it covers quite a lot of ground though. This is just that one strip, but then follow the music basically, eh? Follow always, the music. Always the way. Follow the music. There's way more over that side. But it's nice and chill. What is it? Nine o'clock in the morning, boo? Yep. Yeah. Nine, nine o'clock. Seems like a really good time to get in here now. Get in and have a look around. All the locals early, have though. probably already. Well, the, the ones that have restaurants and stuff have probably already been in. But who they kind of come at six o'clock, seven o'clock, buy all their produce and stuff for the day. Um, but it's a nice time to come now when that sun's not quite as high, not too hot. And we can look at it now and be like, hey, we saw you come up. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't quite look the same with the singlet on underneath, does it? It's cool though. That was a cool style of, uh, of like baggy shirt there, but it's uh, too similar to the one that I've got, so Ooh. I'm going to keep hunting around. That's cool. Yeah, there's some cool singlets here. Yeah, super there's heaps cool. Of, heaps of clothes. There's obviously loads of food and stuff as well. You can book a lot of the tours here too, and they've got lots of black pearls, which is there, I would say, their specialty. Uh, yeah, their, their specialty that you can pick up. But I'm seeing all sorts of food options and smoothie bowls, and uh, it's awesome. It's just a fun thing to walk around and explore something a little bit different and get in among some of the locals as well. Oh, this one? Just yeah, here? Yeah, one in the... Oh, down here. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Grana. That's what we've been hunting for. Hi, can I grab a cold coconut, please? $5.50. Is that just bigger, is it? Oh, I'll just get a small one. <laughs> you sure don't want the big one? Nah. Do you want one? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Okay, thank you. Hunted out a fresh, cold coconut. Let's put it to the test. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you should have got one. <laughs> oh, what am I not getting any nah, now? <laughs> I got a small one for me. <laughs> Ruthless. I think we might have reached the end. So now we've got to make the hard decision as to what to eat. I'm good, what are you having? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of food options, but it's just so hot. I was craving something cold. Uh, so we went for smoothie bowls. I got the sunshine bowl, which has Pineapple, mango, banana, and then it's topped with coconut, some granola, dates, banana, and but you peanut said banana butter. twice. I think they all come banana, with banana, banana, <laughs> and they more all banana. come with peanut butter and the, uh, okay. the granola and stuff on there as well. But What's I've got a caramel, caramel sauce, pawpaw, banana, banana, banana. Yeah, <laughs> Cold, refreshing, tropical, bananary. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> I meant that there's like banana in my mix as well as yeah. on top. I know what I was you going mean. through the, the ingredients. Yeah, but it's tasty. Very, very good. We gotta go to dinner. Don't do it. This guy. been on a bit of a tiki tour around the island and sad to say that that I mean it won't be our last tiki tour but we're getting close towards the end. It's so sad. So sad. So we've ended up back at Black Rock. You might have noticed the I mean the very obvious dark rocks. I think it's the only place that we know of that you can walk up like this and look down over the water like that but um, the reason we've kind of stopped back here is because we noticed a little something up on the hill the other day that we looked into. It's a restaurant called Antipodes and they're all about the med so they've got sharing boards they've got lots of like nice wine apparently mm. um i saw on their website that uh lots of people get married there as well and it's perfect for our honeymoon <laughs> not married yet moon um and it must have a nice view because it's up on the hill overlooking yeah. just where the sun sets mm. that's what we've heard is it is like a sunset spot because i mean it's up there and then well you it know it might be there's some color poking through you never can tell, eh? Because sometimes cloudy days lead to be the best sunsets. But anyway, we'll TBC. find out. TBC. Oh, that looks like grease to me. Grease! <laughs> we love grease. Oh man, this awesome through here. like this that we have to go for some wine so we got a bottle of Pinot Gris the Neds um, which we're familiar with because it's from New Zealand <laughs> um, but I 
you normally look at the menu online? I did not look at the menu online for this one, so I have absolutely no idea what to expect, which is very rare for me. <laughs> But what to expect in terms of the location was amazing and the highest quality of service we had on the whole trip. Kick it back with a view, drinking amazing wine, watching the sun set and planes coming in to land. There's honestly no better way to end a holiday. And the food was just as incredible. So everything has been delicious so far, but nothing beats this one. This is the mahi-mahi. It's the fish of the day. We could have got tuna, but we've had plenty of that. This is the mahi-mahi. Yeah, it's, like, it's very Mediterranean herbs, spices. This is my, I think, my favourite main of anything we've had. Me too. And with that final meal and our final Cook Islands vlog comes the end of this mini-series. Thanks for watching along with us on our first international trip. It's been beyond special traveling again and slowing down massively to be on island time. We're feeling really blessed right now and have just loved sharing this whole adventure with you. Now that we're back in New Zealand, we've got a new member of the Danger and Stacey family that we can't wait to introduce you to next week. See you then. <laughs>